good day everyone, especially to you mom. This uh, this day, I am going to present the module five theories and principles in the use and design of technology driving lessons. Introduction. How teachers integrate technology in the teaching and learning process depends very much on their beliefs on how people learn, especially, uh, specifically, they need to know who their learners are and how to approach instruction. As educators, their role is to provide learning experience, experiences that will help achieve the defined outcomes. In this module, you will be acquired, uh, acquainted with different theories and learning principles such as Dale's Code of Experience, the TPECP framework, SEMR, and the Azure model. Lesson 1, Edgar Dale's Code of Experience. Lesson outcomes. So first, familiarize, uh, familiarize with Dale's Code of Experience and provided classroom processes or practices that Exemplify its strategy of the con of experience. Second is provided examples of the various instruction materials appropriate for given instructional context. So the con of experience. The con of the con is a visual analogy. And like all analogies, it does not bear an exact and detailed relationship to complex elements it represents Edgar Dale. In preparing to become a teacher, there are, ele there are elements that should be taken into consideration. One way of putting it is the eight ends of teaching and each element contributes to ensuring effective instruction. So the eight ends of teaching. First, milieu, the learning environment. This is important because in engaged learning environment, increase students' attention and focus, promote meaningful learning experiences, encourages higher, le higher level critical thinking skills. Second, matter, the content of learning. Content is important for students to achieve student learning goals, such as problem solving and communication skills. The third one is method, teaching and learning activities. This is important to align well outcomes and assessment, engage students in active learning, facilitate practice of key skills prior to assessment, and provide feedback on students' progress toward, toward outcomes. The fourth one is material, the resources of learning. Learning resources are important for both teach teachers and students. It is part of the teaching learning approaches and provide teaching uh, teachers with valu valuable information on various subjects. Study materials give students the opportunity to practice what they have been taught in class. So the fifth one is media, communication system. Media, communication skills are essential to being an effective teacher's communication. Not only provide information, but it takes encourage, encourages effect changes, attitudes, and stimulate thinking. The sixth, the sixth one is motivation, arousing and sustaining interest in learning. It is the stimulation and maintenance of the internet in learning. It is important uh, motivation drives students to reach learning goals. It is important to maintain and stimulate the students' attention and curiosity in the learning process. The seven, the uh, seven one is mastery, internalization of learning. 
Internalization refers, uh, refers to learning, communication, sharing, accepting, and digesting new knowledge by students. And the last one is measurement, evidence the learning took place. This allows teachers to identify, identify starting point for further te uh, teaching and learning and to ensure that each student is provided with learning opportunities and a appropriate level of challenges. With reference to the eight aims of instruction, one element is media, another is material. These two aims, media, material, are actually the elements of the cone of experience. Edgar Dell's cone of experience relates well with various instructional media which form part of the system's approach to instruction. As you can see this picture, uh, this is the hierarchical structure. Uh, structure. So first is direct purposeful experience, experiences, uh, contrived experiences, dramati dramatized experiences that we belong to inactive through a sequence of actions. Next is demonstration, study trip, exhibit, educational television, motion, pic motion pictures, recording, recordings, radio, uh, and pic pictures. So that will belong to iconic through a series of illustration. Next is visual symbol, verbal symbol. So, nabilin siya sa symbolic through a series of symbols. So, next is the band in a Dale's cone of experience. So, first is direct purposeful experiences. This refers to a condition of experiencing, learning, using the senses, meaningful knowledge and understanding are established. This is experiential learning where one learns by the way, like for example, hands-on activities, uh, doing the real things, and presenting a real ya. Next is contrived experiences. It is in this category that representations such as models, uh, mini miniatures, or backups are used. There are things or events that may be beyond the learner's graph, graphs and so con contrived experiences can provide a substitute. Next is dramatized experiences. These are commonly used as activities that allow students to actively participate in a reconstructed experience through role playing or dramatization. This learning experience is mostly appealing and fun in terms of implementation. Next is demonstration. When one decides to show how things are done, a demonstration is the most appropriate experience. It is an actual execution of a procedure or a process. A demonstration of how to be a cake or how to execute the dance step is an appropriate way of making the learning experience meaningful. Next is study trips. These are actual visit, visits to a certain location to observe a situation or a case which may not be available inside the classroom. Next is exhibits. These are displays of models such as pictures, uh, artifacts, posters, among others that provides the message or information. These are basically viewed. However, there are currently exhibits that allow the viewers to manipulate or interact with the display and as a result, the exhibit becomes uh, 
more engaging and fun. Next is television and moving pictures. This technology equipment provide a two dimension uh, re uh, reconstruction of a reality. This allows allow t uh, learners to experience the situation being communicated through the uh, mediated tools. They provide a feelings of realization as viewers try to understand the message portrayed by actors in the films. Next is still pictures rec uh, recordings radio. Stills are pictures or images together in this category are audio recorded materials or information broadcast through the radio. Next is visual symbols. These are more abstract representation of the concept or the information. Students are are not given full learnings because they can only use basic learning skills. Like for example, traditional teaching where only the students listen to the teacher during classes. So next is verbal symbols. This category appears to the uh, to be the most abstract because they may not exactly look like the concept or the object they represent, but are symbols, words, codes, or formulate. Students see what the teacher is teaching. They are usually graphs, drawings. Like for example, the teacher used a visual aids while the students listen and see. So, the summary. Edgar Dell's cone of experience is a visual model that represent, uh, that present different types of learning experiences in a hierarchical structure the code illustrates various levels of learning with more concrete hands-on experiences and the bottom and more abstract symbolic experiences at the top according to their individuals are more likely to retain information when they are actively engaged in the learning process and the code provides a framework for educators to consider different types of learning experiences and their potential impact on learning outcomes. This code is often used to guide instructional design and emphasize the importance of incorporating a variety of the learning experiences in educational setting. And that would be all. Thank you.